Here we are in Cosland. This bloody freezing. Dining, guys. Dining. Dining, dining. How do, you, how do you say dining very much? Dining sekali. Sekali. Dining sekali. Yeah, yeah, whatever she yeah. said. Unpredictable weather. Ooh. So, after <laughs> two hours. Saltum, saltum. Yeah. Salah kostum. <laughs> Wrong kostum yeah. again. <laughs> but anyway, whatever. Two hours took us to get here. We're here at the, the train station mm. where they filmed Harry Potter, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Harry Potter. Okay. Yeah, happy Harry Potter. So we're gonna have a look, get some pictures. Let's go. Bye bye. Okay. There we go. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Ghostland. Come on now, hurry up, you'll be late. <sighs> Ghostland station. I don't know. I have seen Harry Potter, but it was a long, 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 long time ago, and it was with my niece, and I think I fell asleep when I watched it. No. I can't remember this station being in Harry Potter. I'm sure it yeah. is. I have seen yesterday on YouTube. So uh, you can. Yeah. You so can, anyway, yeah, this yeah. is this is Harry Potter. So okay. Have a look. <laughs> have a look at this one. We just walked up from the Harry Potter station. This is the main street in Ghostland where they filmed Heartbeat, which is, which was, sorry, it's finished now, which was a, an old, an English drama series about a policeman, I believe. I don't know when it was set though, I think it was like. Set in the 1930s or 40s or something like that. But yeah, so they film right here. So let's go for a walk, see where there is. Alright, let's keep walking. The woolly sheep, gelato, milkshakes, ice creams. Who wants an ice cream on a day like today? Yeah, look at this old car. Austin, whatever. Eiffel. I think my dad had a car like this. <gasps> I believe this is it. I believe this is uh, Gotham, mm. Heartbeat. There's a few houses. 
around there and then you've got the ball end over there yeah. but as far as what they used to film here uh, but anyway let's go How much it is in? It's like in Bali one. Yeah. So you don't buy things like that. Yeah. You can buy them anywhere. Yeah. There's some gems, raspberry, lemon curd, strawberry jam. How much is it? Yeah. £3.50. You want to buy? No, oh, no, that's a gym. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Can you read it? Saggy ball washer. Hey? Captain Cook. Captain Cook, yeah. Even though the Dutch were in Australia. He was cooking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was cooking the Australian natives. More stuff. We have a menu down there. So, well, why do you want several more? It's not windy. So, this is what? Yeah. So, this was heartbeat. Right. So, all done in Gulfland. We've been to the station. We went to the, the town the village. So now we're just going to go back to the bus and then jump on the bus and 30 minutes that way we're going to go to Whitby. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jackie will come. Yeah. Ayo kita kembali ke bis menuju Whitby. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Itu bis kita What guys. Bye. Okay, one, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to Whippy. Whippy. <laughs> here we go, Whippy. I'll tell you something, it's a hell of a lot warmer here than it was in Gulfland. Probably because we're down at the beach in the sea. So there we go. We've got a we've got a, a boat, big boat there. And over that way we've got something I can't see. Anyway. Whitby, famous for two things. Dracula, yeah. Mm. He came here from Transylvania. Mm. Everybody knows Dracula. Mm. And Captain Cook. Mm. And what's Captain Cook famous for? I don't know. Australia. Even though the Dutch were there first, but the first recorded Captain Cook, who landed on the Queensland. Oh no, no, Botany Bay. That was it. He landed in Botany Bay. So. Let's go cracking. We've only got three hours here. <laughs> there we go. This is uh, one of Whitby streets, yeah? One of the old streets. So we come here to something quintessential yeah. English, you know, very English, very British, you know, and the home of Captain Cook and Dracula and everything like that. And what does my wife do? Oh, look, Korean food. And it's not even a weekend. What is it? Thursday today. And it's so busy. Oops, sorry. Yeah. I'm just going to start walking. So busy. So this is Whitby during the summertime. Can you mind? Oh, no. There he is, honey. I don't know how many steps there are. Thank you very much. 199 steps. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Like 200 steps. 
Killing me. My quads are killing. Oh yeah. Fighting, fighting. Fighting. Okay. Two hours later. Welcome to Whitby Army. Right. Let's keep going. That way. Let's go. It's what a beautiful view. Look at it. You got the uh, oh, North Yorkshire Moors. Oh yeah. You got the North right. Yorkshire Moors over that's there. That's that one. Yeah. Then the city town of Whitby. Oh, that's it's been a lot wetter than we would expect this time of year normally. Yeah. Oh, berapa nih? Jadi dua, 29, sekitar 600 ribu. Wow, dua orang. Yeah. Ya, yeah, welcome to Whippy Abbey. Whippy Abbey. Park. Famous for... Oh. Oh, famous. For Dracula. Oh. oh. Yeah. Welcome to my home, <laughs> Mr. Dracula. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Dracula. Welcome to my home. <laughs> I sound like Dracula from um, Sesame Street. <laughs> this was the main part of the church called the nave built in the 14th century and uh, but then was destroyed by Oliver Cromwell and his, uh, and his cronies uh, during Henry VIII's uh, bidding and then it's just been left to the elements ever since and the final part of the church fell down in the 19th century, 18 something. So, and, uh, so that's about it. And like many abbeys around this area, this ceremony. Right, let's continue. Dracula's castle. Mm. Now this is the castle that Dracula landed at and came to in Bram Stoker's original novel Dracula and that's every other subsequent movie about Dracula or book has Dracula arriving in Whitby before he makes his journey down to London. So this is it. Dracula's castle. Yeah, if you're gonna come here, even in the summer, make sure you wear something warm. Because just over there, that way, is the North Sea. And the North Sea is a very cold sea. So, yeah, wear something warm. Okay, let's go and continue. Okay, so we're just about done done at uh, here at the the abbey. There's loads more to see here. It's not just the abbey. We're down, 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 down the cliff is the historical town of the Whitby. So once we're done up here we'll head down and have a look around the harbour and whatever Whitby has to offer. Fish and chips probably and fish and Captain Cook 
Cook. Always cook. <laughs> yeah, Captain Cook always cook. Right, okay, so we'll say goodbye from Whitby Abbey and then we'll head down into the uh, into the town. Ooh, one of the most busiest streets in Whitby, I think. This is a very nice shop, Whitby Art Gallery. There we go. Then that's the end of our trip today to Gosland and repeat. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. You enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been cold, but you know, um, it is what it is. It's English weather. Deal with it. You know, that's all you can do. So, <clears throat> until next time, if you've got any comments or suggestions or anything you'd like to see, uh, then let us know and we'll see what we can do. So, as always, if you've liked this video, please like it, subscribe. And until next time, on our next trip, we'll see you then. Stay safe. Bye.